Hi, I'm Natalie Dadamio. I'm a mixed media artist and I'm a intuitive guiding channel and soulful creator, all these things and much more, just like I'm sure you are many more things than just what you say you are, right? Uh, <laughs> so um, this week's video, I'm actually going to pull something from my Instagram that I sporadically in the moment posted last night. I was working on my 100 day project, working on these artworks and, um, you know, really emotional crying and the desire to turn the camera around on the moment was what I was interested in. You know, I have a long love of documentary film and like avant-garde cinema and experimental expressions and um, what does it really mean when we turn it around on ourselves and kind of start to take a look, right? And and that's how I'm interested in making this like abstract, expressive, like intuitive, free and wild work. Um, but I'm not, I wasn't always comfortable about showing up to the moment or even speaking or even being seen in the world, right? I, I had a hard time coming into myself besides like making the art so those are like two different stories going on but um so i have a long history of understanding what it's like to be sensitive and shy and kind of unsure of the world and then want to bring that creative work into being so i thought i would share what i posted last night because it seems to be resonating and you know to be honest i'd watched it back and i had doubted posting it and um but i'm like no i'm gonna do this and then there's a lot of response back which is interesting and it, it's surprising but then it's not surprising at the same time so what i was going to do is share those clips and they'll be in a different format because it was for instagram and then i'm gonna continue to make some artwork after that around the emotionality and talk more about how do we use these emotions and we'll start to investigate all sides, you know, in our art and creative lives and also, um, you know, for our regular life too. You don't have to be an artist to start investigating and uncovering these sides within yourself um, and bring relation to the whole being, right? <laughs> and that's when you get more clear seeing for everything. Anyway, here's the clips. I was thinking about something someone said to me about, like, oh, it doesn't look like you're having a hard time. Of course it doesn't look like that. Am I going to really, like, get on the camera and start to cry <laughs> um, and put that in my social media? <laughs> Am I really going to, like, tell the deepest darkest truths probably not um but i was just thinking like you know we all kind of suffer and we all go through grief and loss and sometimes deep trauma and um sadness and things that can never be returned um and that does something but at the same time well, there's art making. There's art making, right? And there's... We can take this emotionality and, like, move that into an expression. You know, obviously that's what I've been doing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna move that emotion and um, I'm gonna, like, have this transformation of that sadness on the surface <laughs> and um, I'm going to put it all there because maybe there are things I can't necessarily speak into or um, as much as I like to speak into them you know <laughs> um, they have to be on the surface on some level because well it's like life um, and um, it's not always easy right I always say this <laughs> same thing in artworks like um, when we're trying to get to some, like, conclusions, you know, a uh, building, like, this layered piece, um, having these moments, 
they learn they all become different stages of the process and um depending on the day it's different right we all know this <laughs> um i think letting it out though is important right and i talked about this earlier today with someone is that like if you're suppressing all that stuff it's gonna just eat you alive and like this I can tell you I know that for a fact um <laughs> so like that's why we cry that's why we create that's why we have song and um dance <laughs> you know moving that body all kinds of things right and creativity is at the heart like that ooh the center of creation, right? That, um, what makes it emotional, right? It's not always that happy stuff. Um, sometimes it's like you, when you want like a really good sad song, <laughs> you want that because you like relate to it, right? And <laughs> you want to feel that. Um, so like in regards to an artwork, I'm always trying to put all that emotionality into it. It's not like I'm dwelling in the sadness forever or the anger or the rage or the fear um, or the confusion or the dissonance, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes a desperation, I don't know. Um, you know, and then on the end, like opposite side of that, we have the light and the giggly and the, <laughs> you know, it can, it can be two at once. It, it can be actually more than two at once. Uh, um, so, don't know why we think it's one or the other. I'm not sure where we became under the illusion that it's like one or the other. Um, I think once we start to look at the multiplicity of it all, not just in art, but in life. There's a lot more resolve that can come through the human spirit to show up to a creation um, and what you want to create, but also to take that emotion and drive it through that creation. Um, <laughs> and that's like what I'm interested in. And I'm also interested about creating the conversations because it's like coming out from that shadow and like into the light of awareness of like whoa if this is helpful for anyone you know like maybe i should start to look and uncover and investigate what is it that i really desire in my creative work and um in my expression right because you know if we we may have been suppressed by whatever earlier formative years parents authority figures society structures whatnot but then you get to a certain point and you want to start stripping all that away and um coming into that raw center and i think that's why i love abstract expressive like really like wild and free art making is because i can like just like undulate like and put it all there um, and there's like many ways to do this, right? And, and I'm not saying all abstraction is like this, but this is my relationship to the abstraction and um, to the emotionality, right? Um, and to that open heartedness, you know, I want to have that oozing out. <laughs> um, and I guess life has given me that like opportunity in a way to like show up see what's there and like kind of uncover it and get you know familiar with it all and comfortable with like oh this is me like crying <laughs> and but also laughing at the same time you know and making a mess um it's like a mixed bag it's like not one and we always we like in the constructs of our mind we create these perceptions of the appearance and um, it's not often what it seems at all <laughs> and I think that is why there's art you know it can start to break those constructs and um especially when it's like raw and gritty and like visceral I I mean it does that for me in that kind of way it like starts to make me think and open me more and more and um, that's what I'm interested in, <laughs> like in when I'm like, when I'm showing up to the work, how can I put like all of it in there? And hopefully in turn that can elicit feeling out of whoever's encountering it, right? 
but you know that's not really up to me my job is to just show up into like in my authentic self and all the emotionality and just like get in there <laughs> and like let it out and, and release that right so then we kind of have this transformation right in this moment even by me sharing these words and making this video I'm releasing it now <laughs> and um you know it will it will help and that's all it can really do is help you move forward moment to moment, day by day. And that is exciting and important and necessary in order to like be fully here. Yeah. So you just watch the clips and it's really interesting, right? Because it, there's a desire for me to express and, and show the sadness and you know, I was crying in that moment, but there was also many, many points of interest and experience also going on. And um, I was like in that moment and I was really present and open to whatever wanted to come through. And that's what I'm interested in when I speak a lot of the time. And also when I show up to the work, like how do I open wider to all those internal doors and not turn anything away. And when we're talking about like the freedom in the work and the raw expression, that to me is like one of the key ingredients, at least through my experience in relation to it. And that's what I'm gonna show you in creating some of this work today. So I'm just gonna work with what I'm right in the middle of. It might get redundant in a way, but it's not really because it's always changing anyway. The 100 day project is what I'm right in the middle of. <laughs> Today is day 57, um, but I need to start another cycle uh, in order to have the rotation going in a, in, <laughs> in a way that I like. I need to start some more work on paper. Um, so like essentially these are starts. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the emotionality while I'm working and what I'm thinking about. I'm going to like you. Normally, I'm not thinking about much in the beginning of these starts. But I'm going to like just use this opportunity to like talk about certain aspects and elements that maybe I would be thinking about. Or um, stuff that like permeates the practice. Um, and using spray paint, this is just water based Liquitex spray paint. Um, you could spray it indoors, and there, there's a low odor. Um, that's kind of new but old. <laughs> what I'm interested in that is there, uh, because it's water based, you can really have more water on it. Um, it covers the surface nice and then you can kind of create this like liquidation. Um, so in regards to emotionality, that's interesting to me because it's like water. And then I relate that into like the elements and like, you know, the processes of our body. Um, as an intuitive artist, the way I'm working with that idea is well this was just kind of next to me so I'm just gonna like I didn't really even think oh I didn't think I need the yellow ochre charcoal I just like picked it up and started going so the thing about picking it up and starting going starting to go um and the reason why you want to build a pra like a daily habit of a practice of some sort because you'll just start to know, you know, when we talk about intuition and uh, like automatism, which is like an uh, automatic response, you'll just start to have that habit built in. <laughs> um, and to me, that has to come over time. Um, so I can't, no teacher can give you that, you know. Um, they could give you techniques and ideas and you know, tools, but like only you can really give yourself time <laughs> and in the practice. And um, I would often say like, 
I have a little theory of it's <laughs> it is more about showing up to the moment than it is about getting all the things. Um, you know, it's good though. There's different kinds of expressions, right? And different ways to look at it. Um, and not everything's going to resonate. That's important to say. Not everything resonates for me out there. So um, you want to pay attention to that too, right? Because that's going to be information that's going to inform your journey. And that's why there's so many different kinds of ways to talk about it and share about it. And, you know, there isn't really a one way is right or wrong. It's just what works for you. So in regards to, I'm just picking out, you know, I have this pile of soft pastel next to me and I'm just grabbing accordingly. Now this is just the first layer, so I'm really not thinking much um, what I was trying to explain, some of the emotionality. Um, it could just be about like the way the mark feels and thinking about that in my body and how it's relating in the moment. Yeah. And then, you know, there is a little bit of the thought of a composition there, but it's like very loosely thrown in there. And what happens is I'll just, I want to move on. I want to move to the next moment. I don't know. Give it, usually anything has like two to five minutes, I think. Maybe sometimes even less. It just depends. Um, the rotation for me is important in this process, at least. Um, and, you know, they all are. We're moving right along, but then we're also resting at the same time, which is important to say. Um, so I've been interested in liquefying. <laughs> and just... Having more of a, it almost feels more haphazard, I guess. It's just like a quicker way to cover the paper. <laughs> and then I literally, I'm just grabbing what I'm attracted to. Um, I feel like also color for me becomes more innate um, as I work with it. Then I just know what I'm going to grab. Um... So, like, what you can start to do in your own practice is to, um, you know, just start to experiment. And even if it's, like, a small thing daily, it doesn't have to be, like, an intense, like, thing. But it could be. Um, you gotta start to know, like, oh, you really, like, need to have a certain kind of feeling certain kind of mark, um, certain kind of color, and you know, that might change over time too, but you want to pay attention to the present moment, right? Like, what's going on for you right now is kind of enter into this experience, um, because that's all we really can do. <laughs> Um, oftentimes, like, we want to be farther ahead or, you know, go get a certain experience, but we're just not maybe meant to get that in the moment or, like, we need more time. Um, people don't talk about the time as, like, there's so much pressure to just, like, be on. And, of course, I'm always showing up daily, so that, you know, that could appear one way. But really, like, I've, it's also taking a lot of time to get to this point where I can just, like, let go into it without much thought behind it. But there is thought behind it, too, so that's where it gets confusing sometimes. But maybe now I'll just start with this.
sometimes I'm like thinking about breaking up the surface of the page as I'm like drawing the mark and then I'm seeing that like very very subtly though it's um especially like in these beginning stages those layered work these layered works on paper are gonna have anywhere from like six to ten layers maybe a couple less but they definitely have been like worked over time psychically daily you know um to achieve a desired result and then that's gonna be totally up to you to like the artist <laughs> like what is your desire um and what like what are you looking for <laughs> Um, that really can only be determined by you and probably should only be determined by you because other than that, you're going to get lost in somebody else's idea and that's never good. Um, <laughs> but um, sometimes you have to get lost in order to get found in art and life. So I'm, <laughs> when I say this, I'm not saying don't learn because I'm about to be releasing courses myself in the next two months here so um you know you gotta learn and then like let go and then learn and let go and um, I just create a stronger boundary with what you desire um versus like what everyone is saying including me including me I want to say that because it's important <laughs> I don't want to say I have the only answer. That would be crazy. And I don't want to say that I um, that I don't have an answer either. Because I might have something that you're looking for. <laughs> um, but I don't really know. I don't want to assume that I do. You know. Because I'm still learning. Just like you. Is That's like the important thing that I like to stress. Is... Um, I only have my ideas from where I am and what I've lived through. And then, um, but you also have your ideas from your experience and what is it, what you're relating to and what's most interesting. Um, I can talk a lot about what it is to come out of fear and hiding and move into the freedom in art and life. Um, because that's like what my relationship to my work is. But maybe that isn't going to be your relationship to the work. <laughs> um, but, you know, and then if you do desire it, there's ways to get there, right? And that's why, that's what teaching is all about. Just giving people directions and ways to get there. Um, but nothing is really an, the be-all and end-all. That's important because um, sometimes we can lose ourselves in the process. Um, like too much and then we get scared and shut down and like we um, stop again. Ooh. But, you know, so this is just a palette knife and um, I'm kind of interested in the texture of the paint and like I noticed acrylic can get a little tackier and I actually like let it get tacky on purpose. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's like just a thing. So you find these little things along the way, right? The more we experiment, the more we investigate. Um, and you can investigate right here in your starts. Because if it's going to be a layered work, well, it's not really going to matter what it, what's happening. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't not, not pay attention to it. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a feather. <laughs> so you could pay attention to this. <laughs> um, I like that it like splashes around. That reminds me a lot of rain and jumping in puddles. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I kind of like that. Um, it disperses and then it kind of stains the the surface. I'm interested in that. Um,
so I just I'm kind of feeling the way my way through this work. Um if it gets too wet, I I might let's just leave it. Um I don't necessarily need to have like full coverage on the first pass um, because I'm just looking for like an experience and a release of the moment and the uh, color, the emotion, the energy, um, the way it feels and like I, and I'm paying attention to this and um, there, another thing is you could start to record these thoughts like after the session or not I don't always do that <laughs> um, I have been writing more but more in depthly about other ideas and theories that I'm developing but um, a way to just like if you're new to like experimentation in the artworks and you're trying to build that relationship it could help to like you know record the moment ooh <laughs> But see, this like simple mark, drawing mark, kind of divides up the space a little bit. But then I'm not really paying attention to that too much. Just kind of subtly. So I want to like keep that loose structure. Um, but sometimes it crosses over, right? Um... And then I'm always using a spray bottle because I like different like viscosities. Uh, I like it thicker and looser. <laughs> um. So I'm kind of feeling the moment and everything that happened yesterday, last night. You know, I'm still feeling the emotional pull of all of that, and like I don't really. To be honest, I'm just trying to trust myself in all these expressions right now and um, move to the next steps. And that's kind of what you do in a painting as well, right? So you can apply the same kind of idea of showing up to the moment and the surface and trusting this experience. Like you could put that in the other areas of your life. <laughs> like now can I trust myself to do X, Y, Z? Oh, yeah, it's all like relational. This is like a tongue depressor, I guess, or a popsicle stick. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes whatever works, right? Sometimes I'm just looking for, you know, a release of color, of the feeling of a mark in the energy, how that's relating to my body. And then, um, you know, for these first layers, maybe I did do something new, like, ooh, like, that was fun. And then I think about that next time, or I don't, you know. So it's really varied and vast and very individual is basically what, to me, what all of creativity and art making is is like this individual expression of all these things that we compile and we're not going to maybe like everything but the things we end up really liking well we probably won't be able to let them go <laughs> not too easily anyway and over time, that becomes the, the voice and the style and all that stuff that maybe beginners are looking for. So you can see there is a, it's not too precious and there's not much thought in. <laughs> it doesn't even always have to make sense. Oftentimes, like, it doesn't make sense. But it's like leaning into the feeling of the emotionality of it all and um, finding your way as you go. Um. <laughs> I mean, that could just be interesting alone. What does that do if I 
you know, really spray it, it disperses. And then if I drag that through and flip that out, you know, I have, a, I'm having another moment. And it, it's like subtle, um, but like see all of these moments over time through many layers, you know, add up to create this like <laughs> larger experience. <laughs> Hopefully, right? <laughs> It doesn't always work out. <laughs> but it's really about just getting something down. Um, but but also, too, like, kind of paying attention to how it's feeling, what's going on in these relationships. Like, there's some subtle lines here, and this is wrapping around. And, oh, this is starting to come, this, for me, this form where I do that more and more, but I don't really know why. I didn't consciously think about it. It just started to show up. Um, so those are little things you want to start to pay attention to over time, little by little. Um, and that's when you start to really like know like your relationship through the tools and your expressions and... Um, what you're trying to say because you we often don't really know what we're trying to say in this abstraction anyway <laughs> um at least i don't always know in the beginning it's kind of like going on the journey and finding the search and the process of it all knowing all those marks and movements and paying attention to the energy and the emotion and having this you know experience and repetition, right? Anyway, so that's where I'm going to leave it at. Some of these starts. And I hope that kind of explains some of the emotionality. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's always a journey. And we can always start where we are. And um, there's always more to learn. And that's really important. And, um... We just do that by showing up and having the experience. <laughs>